Welcome to Chasing Cast Iron Campfire Cooking. This afternoon we're at our little spot where we like to cook a lot outside. I have my fire pit here. I am going to show you how to make chili. You can use your own recipe or use our recipe in the cast iron. Thank you. Be back in a minute. Welcome back. Here we are. Got a fire pit going. I have a nice fire going. Uh, today is very hard for us to cook because uh, we're doing 50 degrees. We had light rain today, so it's hard to get a fire going. But you can do this. This is not a problem. I like to preheat my cast iron. Um, I have a number 10 Dutch oven tonight uh, with no feet. This is a smooth bottom Dutch oven. I like to preheat the kettle a little bit prior to putting whatever oil I would am going to put in the dish. Tonight I am going to use just plain old butter. I like to have the butter stirred in up on the sides of the kettle to keep the kettle from sticking. Pardon my teary eyes because the smoke is in my eyes. If you take and grease the sides of the kettle, your chances of it sticking is going to be way less. Really help with the sticking. By using butter I can take the stick if it's frozen and then line the outside of the kettle just with my spoon. Just oh so very little. Okay. Now I'm ready to add my meat to the dish. Tonight I am using uh, chuck, lean chuck roast and I've cubed it up. I have, this is not ground meat, this is cubed up. You can use hamburger, turkey, chicken, whatever you, you prefer. At this point I will add this. I will let this sit, put the cover back on, and wait till it starts to steam out the lid corners, the lid edge. As you can see, steam rolling across the face. Now it's time to stir. Our meat is fully cooked at this point. As you can see, everything is extremely warm. I'm adding my vegetables, I'm adding my peppers, onions. I also add celery because I enjoy celery. Most of these items we had froze prior to bringing to the cabin for camping because that way we have is ice packs. So think about that when you're doing a camping adventure for one big meal. Having this stuff froze prior, uh, cut up, always saves time, and it is an ice pack when you're camping. Our vegetables have softened up nicely. Steam is still rolling out. Moisture's gone inside the pan, so that means that all those vegetables have sucked right up the moisture, so everything is cooked fully. At this point, I will be adding my frozen tomatoes. I like frozen tomatoes for this when we're camping because it, once again, it's an ice pack. We will let this sit and soften up. 
We'll add our liquid back in at that point with the softening of the tomatoes. And we will be adding our beans next. As you can see, our tomatoes have softened up. We've created a chili base with meat. Now we're going to add our beans. I had a combination of beans, chili beans, light and dark kidneys. You can use whatever you desire. We have not seasoned this dish yet because I like to see what our vegetables do prior to seasoning. As you can tell, everything is cooking nicely. We've had to add a lot of wood to the fire because of our day we have here today and it's cold. This is our chili, made from scratch. As you can tell, it's very warm. The smoke is starting to get in my eyes, sorry about that. We've, we've tasted it. We've determined that it needs just a little bit of salt with our peppers that we put in there. It does not need any spice. What we will do now is we'll add a little bit of salt, and I'm real precise. You want a salt to taste, season to taste, chili powder is a good option. Uh, if you want to thicken it, a good option is cornstarch. At this point, our chili is done. Thank you.